Our first experience um, was a lot different than here at UH. We had just a regular OB, and I didn't know going into it that you weren't guaranteed your doctor to deliver you at that time. I had seen my doctor regularly every month. When came time for the delivery, my doctor wasn't actually there. It was a lady I had never met. Went through 50 plus hours of labor. She didn't have the connection with her doctor, you know, and she didn't have that. She just felt like a number. So after we had our daughter Addison, we were very reluctant and very hesitant to try again for a while. And then, of course, life happens and things change, so we decided four years later to try again. My recommendation for the midwives came from a friend, decided to check it out, it was worth a try. Once I got here, I had my first appointment. Midwives view pregnancy and birth as a natural part of life. We really cherish personal relationships with our patients, and my job is just to kind of guide them through their labor experience and bring a healthy mom and healthy baby at the end. The time she spent with me, getting to know my history, she wanted to know all about my family, my daughter, my whole first birthing experience. I felt like more of a person talking to another friend or colleague or even a mom in some ways. I think I spend more time listening to my patients and kind of getting to know them and their situation throughout their pregnancy than I do actually doing hands-on physical assessments. I think that probably the hallmark of midwifery is a midwife at your bedside with you through your labor. as not just your provider who catches your baby, but someone who helps you to travel the trip. Uh, when we first came in, we were induced, so we had to come in early morning for induction. Cheryl had come in and she had explained to us the medication she was going to use and how the day should unfold if the medication was working successfully. It was a very good source of emotional confidence. Uh, you know, patients often will say in a plan, I want to be told why this is happening. I have no secrets. If I know something, I will tell the patient. And I think it gives them a clear picture of why we're doing what we're doing. And I think that's really important. So after about 40 hours, we finally had Molly. I was feeling very relieved, very exhausted. And our nurse that was there with us, she made our whole experience after having Molly so much more relaxed. It was really special for us. I feel privileged every day that I get to be a part of such an enormous part of people's lives. To be able to have a positive influence on women is just amazing. I can't believe I get to do this some days. UH made me feel like more of a human being with feelings and a person and how I build a relationship with these people here. and. I still have a relationship with some of these people here and just the overall experience being that much more successful.